I'm sure, ayon na ayaw mo matawag na ipokrito. Pero, paano nga ba natin malalaman kung ipokrito tayo? So, in this video, pag-usapan natin. Five signs of hypocrisy. That's coming up here on Pursuing the Savior. What is going on? My name is Archie and welcome to Pursuing the Savior. I'm a pastor and the writer and I have a passion for helping people understand the Bible and find their way back to God. And that's what this channel is all about. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit that little notification bell so you won't miss a thing. And if you're watching on Facebook, don't forget to like or follow our official Facebook page, Pursuing the Savior. Let's get started. Hypocrites are perhaps the most hated human beings in the world. Sila kasi yung tao na kung makapaminta sila ay kala mo napakalinis. In fact, even our Lord Jesus, being the gracious, understanding Lord that He is, He dedicated an entire chapter of woes to the Pharisees who were notoriously known for their hypocrisy. But here's the thing. Madaling makita yung hypocrisy sa ibang tao. But for the most part, nahihirapan tayong makita ang bagay ni ito sa ating mga sariling puso. So let's define, what is a hypocrite? Ganito ang sinasabi ng Moonses Complete Expository Dictionary. A person who pretends to be something he or she is not. Ang ibig sabihin, ang isang hypocrite ay isang taong mapagpanggap. Halos ganito rin ang sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos tungkol sa mga ipokrito. The Greek term used in the Bible is hypocrites, which means an actor or a pretender. Ang isang hypocrites ay isang aktor na gumaganap sa mga teatro, but eventually it came to mean a person pretending to be somebody he is not, especially pagdating sa moralidad. To help us determine whether or not we are hypocrites, tignan natin ang five signs of hypocrisy. Number one, you think highly of yourself. I can't think of a better way to describe a hypocrite than the Lord Jesus' parable found in Luke chapter 18. Basahin natin, Luke 18, 11 to 12. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. This Pharisee is without a doubt highly religious and prayerful. Nakikita natin na hinighlight niya yung kanyang mga achievements bilang isang pariseyo. Yung kanyang pananalangin, yung kanyang pag-aayuno, at yung kanyang pag-iikapu ng lahat ng kanyang tinatanggap. So kung makikita natin, na para naman walang problema kasi napaka-religious niya, right? Pero ang katotohanan ay ang puso niya ay hindi naman totoong surrendered sa Diyos. Nagpapanggap lang siya. Nagpapakitang tao lamang siya. Instead of humbling himself to God in his prayer, ang ginawa niya ay ikinumpara ang kanyang sarili doon sa ibang tao na sa tingin niya ay mas masama sa kanya. Ang ganitong klase ng pananalita ay makikita natin sa isang taong bilib na bilib sa kanyang sarili. In the same way, you are also a hypocrite if you are full of yourself and you think that you are better than others. Ang ginagawa mo ay hina-highlight mo ang iyong mga achievements habang ipinapahiya mo ang iba dahil sa kanilang mga pagkakasala. Number two, you love being praised. Having an inflated ego drives someone to perform well in his religious activities para mapansin siya ng iba. Basahin natin ang Matthew chapter 6 verse 5. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others. Para sa isang Hudyo, ang public prayer ay isang spiritual strength na nakikita lamang doon sa mga elitistang mga pariseyo o yung mga katulad nila. Pero makikita natin that the Lord Jesus is not condemning the person because of praying. Hindi yun ang rason kung bakit na-condemn ang tao. Rather, ang rason kung bakit siya na-condemn ng Panginoon ay dahil 
nagpapakitang tao lang siya. Hindi naman totoo yung kanyang pananalangin. Gusto lang niyang mabilib yung iba sa kanya. Sa so John chapter 5 verse 44 ay makikita din natin kung paano kinriticize ng Panginoong Jesus yung mga pariseyo at sinabihan silang gusto lang naman nila na tumanggap ng papuri among themselves at ito ay hindi kinakatuwa ng Diyos. In the same way, you are a hypocrite if you perform well just to be noticed by people. Ikaw ay isang hypocrite kung ikaw ay nagnanais na purihin ka ng ibang tao na tila ba nakakahanap ka ng validation kapag ikaw ay pinupuri ng iba. Number three, you undervalue small sins. You're a hypocrite if you condemn big sins while undervaluing small sins. Pero sa Diyos, lahat ng kasalanan, pare-pareho lang kasalanan. Walang malaki, walang maliit. Basahin natin ang 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? In the Bible, yeast conveys the idea of sin or evil. Kapag yung mga maliliit na kasalanan are left unchecked, ay hindi natin napapansin that they develop into more serious, more severe sins. Perhaps ang mas nakakabahala dito ay yung pagkakaroon ng mentalidad na maliliit lang naman na kasalanan ito, so gagawin ko pa din, tapos hingin na lang ako ng tawad mamaya. Now that's the problem. If you're somebody who thinks this way, hmm, probably you're a hypocrite. Number four, you don't affirm Jesus' teachings. Maraming mga unbelievers ang kinikriticize tayo mga Kristiyano kasi some of us, we don't even know how we came to the Christian faith to begin with. Na pag tinanong tayo, how did you become a Christian? Ay hindi natin kayang sagutin yung tanong. Pwede tayong sumagot na, ay na-invite ako sa isang youth camp, na-invite ako sa isang evangelistic crusade and, and, and doon na nagsimula. Naging Christian na ako. But here's the thing, ang isang totoong Kristiyano ay alam kung paano siya naging Kristiyano. Ang ibig kong sabihin ay alam niya kung ano ang mga katuruan ng Panginoong Hesus at naiintindihan niya ang ebanghelyo ng kaligtasan sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya kay Heso Kristo. At higit sa lahat, yung kanyang pananampalataya ay nakikita sa pagbabago ng kanyang buhay. On the other hand, ang isang taong Hipokrito ay hindi alam kung paano siya naging born again. Paano ba nagiging sign of hypocrisy yung pagiging illiterate or hindi maalam sa doktrinang kristyano? Ganito ang pagkakapaliwanag ng American Heritage Dictionary sa salitang hypocrisy. The practice of professing beliefs, feelings, or virtues that one does not hold or possess. In other words, falseness. Ang ibig sabihin, ito yung ipinupush mo ang isang katuruan pero ikaw mismo ay hindi mo naman pinaniniwalaan 'yon. Pinakasimple siguro ng illustration dito ay yung you're trying to endorse something, you're selling something when you know for a fact that you yourself will not buy that product. That is hypocrisy. In other words, you are a Christian who claim to be a believer and you love being in the company of believers, pero ikaw mismo, you don't affirm the teachings of the Lord Jesus. Hindi ka naman naniniwala sa mga itinuturo ng Panginoong Jesus. nag enjoy ka lang nakasama ang church. So, if you're someone who calls yourself a Christian and you enjoy being in Christian company, pero hindi mo naman talaga pinaniniwalaan, Ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, you are a hypocrite. Number five, your heart is far from God. So, said it before, I say it again. You are a hypocrite if you say one thing but you do the other. Or you say one thing but you don't really believe it. You claim to worship God but you don't really love Him. Basahin natin ang Matthew chapter 15 verse 8. This people honors me with their lips but their heart is far from me. Ang tinutukoy dito ng Panginoong Jesus ay yung mga taong katulad ng mga pareseyo na naging master na ng tinatawag na lip service. Ibig sabihin, sila ay nag, nag-worship lang 
sa pamamagitan ng kanilang labi, pero ang mga puso nila, naku, walang puwang ang Panginoon. Sila ang mga klase ng tao na mas concerned pa sa mga tradisyon ng kanilang relihiyon, pero wala talaga silang puso para sa Diyos. You're a hypocrite if you speak big spiritual words, but in your heart, you don't really honor the Lord Jesus. Katulad ng mga pareseyo, ay isinasantabi mo ang salita ng Diyos, and you come up with your own beliefs and traditions, and you think that your own beliefs are more important than the Word of God itself. Ibig sabihin, Jesus is not your Lord, you are still the God of yourself, you are still in the driver's seat. Ibig sabihin, ikaw pa rin ang boss ng buhay mo dahil ikaw pa rin naman ang nasusunod. In conclusion, you are a hypocrite if you think highly of yourself, if you love being praised by others, if you undervalue small sins, if you don't affirm the teachings of the Lord Jesus, and more importantly, if your heart is far from God. Naway naging pagpapala po sa inyo ang video natin ngayong week na ito at uh, nagdulot po ng kaliwanagan pagdating sa topic ng hypocrisy. At kung nakita man po natin ang isa o dalawa, dito sa mga signs na ito sa atin ay hindi po ito rason para magalit po tayo kung hindi sana tanggapin po natin ito ng buong pagpapakumbaba at magpabago po tayo sa Panginoon. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. May chance pa na magbago at totoong sumuko sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. And if you want more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our official Facebook page. And with that, my friend, I'll see you on the next one.